Hey guys, it's Yvette. Today I am filming this video right here where I created this butterfly pink lavender look and it was heavily inspired by this girl right here. I found her on TikTok and I literally died when I saw her video because I was like, that is so cute. Of course, I did my own little twist to it. Mine's a lot more pink, but I freaking love the concept and the look. It is so, so pretty. So if you guys want to see how I came up with this creative little look, then just keep on watching. So first, starting off with my base, you guys already know what's coming. I'm going to be using a bunch of LA Girl products. If you guys would like to get money off of LA Girl products, you guys can use this code right here, which is I that 10 for 10% off when these things are already super affordable so it's gonna be a really great discount we are going to make it full coverage because we want this to be a flop girl it just got on my white shirt I'm going to wet my beauty sponge. By the way, this is by Beauty Bakery and they are black owned. So go support them. I've told you guys that this sponge is amazing. It comes in a pack of six. This foundation is truly a lifesaver. It is so full coverage and amazing. I did get a little bit sunburnt yesterday because I'm so dumb. I forgot to bring sunscreen and under my makeup, I didn't wear sunscreen either. So. Okay, and guys, we are going heavy on the concealer. So if you guys see me going ham with any of these products, it's because we're trying to go full coverage, baby. Like, full on. You guys can see that this concealer is a bit lighter than my face. I'm doing that on purpose so we can get that highlighted effect and it can really lift our face. I'm kind of on the verge of doing cream contour, but I don't know yet. Okay, concealer is done, but we do want to go back in. I'm going to be putting it right here, right where the darkness of my eyes are. I'm going to keep layering it on in that specific spot until I feel like all the darkness is gone. If I really wanted to go the extra mile, I could have put a peach concealer under just to correct the areas, but I didn't really think of that. And then taking the excess onto my eyes. All right, so I'm going to be contouring my nose with this concealer here. This is the same MAC one, but this one is just in the shade NC50. I'm not going to be going full into detail as to what I do when I cream contour because I have a whole full video that I did for you guys, including cream and powder step by step for beginners. It's amazing. So if you guys want an informational video, that'll be linked down below too. Look at how glowy these concealers make you look. Like it makes you look so good and especially with the foundation too as the base. And make sure to blend out all of the creases before we apply our powder. Because if you powder over top of all those creases, it's going to leave those creases on your face. It's not going to be cute. Your, your day will literally be ruined. For powder, I always use my banana yellow powder by LA Girl. This is a loose powder. And I'm running out, guys. This is probably like my 87th. At this point, you guys are not surprised. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Face Press Powder in the shade Warm Caramel. Okay, and for the eyes, I'm taking the Lime Creme Venus 3 palette. I think I've only used this one time, but all these colors are so perfect for this look. It's all like lavender, pink sparkly colors. So I'm starting off with Dreamy. So for this color, I'm really packing it on. And I'm only taking a little bit of color at a time just to really build it up without overdoing it. But I do want mine to be like a very pretty like lavender pinky color. So all the colors that we're taking above here, we're also taking them down here just to even it out. I do want to do my brows because I am actually going to fill them in. I don't do it very often, but when I'm doing like a really intense beat, which isn't very often at all, I do like to do my brows. So favorite brow pencil of all time. This is also by LA Girl. This is the Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade brunette. Okay. 
And then to give me that fluffy effect that you guys have been loving on me is the Morphe Clear Brow Gel. Sometimes I use the Anastasia one, but I ran out of that one, so I've been using this Morphe one. All right, so now we are taking this purple here. This is called Paradise, and I'm taking it on a small little pencil brush, taking it under my eyes and just a little bit into the crease and blending it out so it's not so dark. Okay, now we can get to the exciting part. So I'm taking my concealer. It's been a freaking minute, guys. I'm going to just take off the excess and I'm going to be using the actual applicator since it's so tiny and creating our cut crease. Wow, I still got it guys. I still got it from 2016 period. Whenever I come back to doing looks like this, it always reminds me why I used to always do cut creases because it's so much fun. So I don't want it to be a full circle really. I wanted it more to be like a moon and then blend out the rest. So, And now for the actual eyes, I'm gonna do something glittery. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this purple here. This is called Beam. Also, I should have mentioned this. Make sure that you guys do not let your lids crease so i like to always kind of stretch my eyes like this you guys know that i am not a big fan of purple at all but this look I gotta go. I am gonna be going back in with a tiny pencil brush that's clean and try to clean up the edges. Okay, and now for pretty much the finishing touch on the eyes, we are going to be taking our baby pink eyeliner and this is by Absolute New York and this is called the Cotton Candy Liner in the shade Fairy Floss. Okay, so I'm seeing that halfway you do need to pick up some more product or else it's going to be kind of patchy. It did take several layers to get the pigment that I wanted. The thing about this though is, I'm going to show you guys, this is not a felt tip. It's literally a plastic tip. If you guys can see that it doesn't move around because it is plastic and so it does kind of hurt like if you were to you know go a little too rough poke your eye it's it's plastic it's hard plastic so i don't like that i really wish that it was just a felt tip or a brush tip because that hurts it Oh my goodness, so that's the longest I've ever taken on eyeliner before, but I think it's definitely going to be worth it once we have the lashes on. It's going to look amazing. It's just not, it's not working out. I do have this one by NYX, but it is glittery, but I'm going to try. Oh shoot, it's dried. But now we're going to be putting on some mascara and then putting on our lashes. And then we're going to put on some blush, some highlight. Okay, so I picked up a white liner. This is the LA Girl Line Art Matte Eyeliner. And I'm going to be using this to outline my liner. And now taking the LA Girl eyeliner in the shade white. I almost skipped over the mascara, but it's because I always talk about it, so I kind of assume that you guys know. But I know there's so many of you guys that are new. This is the Lancome Monsieur Big. This is my all-time favorite mascara, and I love it. And for the blush, we're going to be using Bliss right here. It's going to go so good on the cheeks, so I'm going to take a little brush. Put it on the apples of our cheeks. I put a little too much right there. It's okay. I'll blend it out in a second. And for the highlight, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Highlight Palette. And I haven't used this since like 2016 when it came out. I'm going to be using, Un I feel like I feel like I want to use Unicorn just because it's like pinky purple. And then I'm also mixing the shade Regal, which is the 
more pearly pink. Ooh, so cute. And for our lashes, I'm gonna be taking these Tata lashes and these are in the style Glam Up Your Eyes, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure. But this is what they look like, very wispy, and I'm gonna trim them up. Place them on my lashes and I will be right back. And we're back guys. This look is coming out so cute. I'm so excited. Taking my dream palette again and taking a regal. This is the one that I was talking about that I mixed with this one. Then that way it also matches with my highlight and now for my lips i'm going to be taking a brown liner this is brown sugar by kylie cosmetics and i know it's going to sound a little weird right now but i do want to have the liner brown and make it and kind of make it go into a gradient of like a soft pink baby i know it's not comfy my love come here baby come here papa come on you're not gonna sleep there that is so com uncomfy Guys, my baby was over here sleeping in my equipment. That is not comfy, my love. Hi. My baby, you're, you're just overheated, huh, baby? It's super hot. It's super hot. I'm gonna put you in my lap, okay? And now for the lipstick, I'm going to be using this MAC Spring Collection. This is the Feeling Sentimental Satin Lipstick. I'll be right back, I'm gonna do my hair. I'm gonna put in these cute little butterfly clips. I found these from Forever 21 and they are so cute. And I'm pretty much just going to do two little braids just like the girl and also put on the clips. I'm gonna do it similar. Maybe I'll do a little twist, who knows? But I'll be right back and then by then I should probably know if I wanna put on gloss or not. So decided to add a gloss. <laughs> I just couldn't do, I couldn't do the matte. So I love how this look turned out guys. So shout out to her who created the TikTok. I'll be placing her TikTok information down below because it was so fire. And then also to match, I did put on this necklace. All the details will be on my Instagram. But thank you guys as always so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in another video.